Now, I'll paste in a link that you can find in the video description below. You need to open it. After opening it, a window like this will appear. You need to scroll down to the very bottom. As you scroll down, you'll see a Get Started option. You need to click on it. When you click it, you'll see the Sign In with Google option. Click on that. Once you click it, you'll see an Explore Catalog option below. You need to click on that. When you do, a new window will open. In the search bar you see here, you need to search for Generative AI. As I type Generative AI, you'll see it appear. Click on it. Now, we'll scroll down. You'll see many options, but you need to click on the 45-minute one titled Generative AI with Vertex AI. As you click on it, it will take a moment to open. Now, look here. Here is the Start Lab option. You need to click on it. A CAPTCHA will appear, which you'll need to fill out. You may have seen many videos like this, but you need to keep in mind that this is a new, updated version. Please watch the video step by step to understand the process. Otherwise, people later say that it's not working. Now, look here. As I complete this, you can see the timer at the top. Below it, you need to right-click on Open Google Cloud Console and open it in an incognito window. You must remember that it should only be opened in incognito mode. Okay? Once it opens in incognito mode, you have to click I understand. When you click I understand, this window will appear. You need to click on the Terms and Service and then click Agree and Continue. When you've done that, open a new tab and search for Google Vids. When you search for Google Vids, you need to open the first link that appears. As you open it, this kind of window will appear. You need to sign in to vids. Now look here, the ID generated from Vertex will appear. You need to sign in with that, okay? As you sign in with it, there you go. The Google Vids preview has appeared before you. We will close this pop-up window. Now, look, this is its entire preview and on the side are all its options and features. So, we'll click on generate here. Our main models, VO2 and VO3 are here. I will select VO3 here. After selecting VO3, I will paste a prompt here to show you. As you can see my prompt, I want to clarify that your prompt should have a maximum of 1000 characters, meaning your prompt should not exceed 1000 characters. Now I will click on Create, and as you can see, my video has started to generate. So, our video is ready. Did you know how to get unlimited VEO3 credits to generate videos? What? How? <laughs> I, did you know? So, you see, our video is ready. Now, I will show you, you have to go to the Insert option. When you click on it, this video will appear on your timeline below. So, now you've seen it. It's working perfectly. Now, your question will be how to save this video. Before that, I'll tell you how you can generate unlimited videos with this and how you can create 4, 5, 10, or 15 videos at once. This means creating different videos from different prompts at the same time. You need to go here, open the link in a new tab, then I'll open another tab, and then I'll go and open another new tab. As you can see, separate tabs are now open. You need to go to Start New Video, we'll close this. Here, we'll go to Generate, close this, paste a new prompt, and click Create. Now this video has started to generate. Then we'll go again. Start New Video, close this again, go to Generate, and here, I'll select the Google VO3 model, paste the prompt, and create this as well. Now, as you can see, I am generating three to four videos at the same time. Now, look here, our video is ready. Did you know how to- Look, our video is ready. Let's check the next one. This one is VO2. I mistakenly forgot to set it to VO3. That's why there's no voice. So, all three videos are ready. Now your next question will be how we can save this video. So what we need to do is, as soon as this video is ready, go to the top, you'll see a Move option. Go there. After going to Move, what we need to do is click on the My Drive option here. Okay, double click on it, and this option will appear. Below, in the corner, there's an option to create a folder. So we'll create a new folder here. And look, our folder is ready. We will move it here. Now our video has gone there. I'll click on it at the top, and as you see, our video has appeared in front of us. After this, what we need to do is click on these three dots and you'll see the download option. Click on it, we've downloaded it. It will take some time to download. So, you see here it's asking for the location where we want to save this video. I'll save it right here. 
At the top, you can see our video has started downloading. Okay, I'll go to my folder and show you once if it has downloaded correctly. Did you know how to get unlimited VEO3 credits to generate videos? What? How? <laughs> now, let me tell you that with one ID, you can generate 20 videos at a time. After that, it will say that your limit has been reached. Okay? So what do you do next? When your limit is reached, you have to close all of these. Please let me know in the comments section if it works for you. Thank you.